Welcome back everybody. Today we are talking about something that I deliberately avoided on social media for the past few days and uh, there's a reason for that. We'll get to that here in just a second. Uh, but you guys have been beating me up about it on my social media sites asking questions. Uh, so I just want to uh, give you the information that I know as of right now and uh, that absolutely is subject to change. So uh, a few days ago reports came out from various social media outlets, uh, websites, etc. claiming that the Biden administration had ordered the Lake City ammunition plant to stop selling or to cease sales to the civilian market. Um, so uh, for those who don't know, Lake City is an ammunition plant that is owned by the United States government and the United States Army, and it supplies ammunition to the United States military, all types of ammunition, small arms ammunition, uh, to the United States military and other militaries as well. And uh, in this case, we're talking about specifically 556, and uh, it supplies Every year it changes a little bit, but rough estimates are about 30% of all the 556 in circulation uh, in the United States for the civilian market. So uh, that is what we're talking about. And that ammo plant is, while it's owned by the government, it is run by currently Winchester. Uh, that contractor, contract rather, goes back and forth. Federal has run it in the past. Winchester is currently running it. So again, what has been reported is that uh, the Biden administration has ordered them to cease uh, sales to the civilian market with everything going on. So what is going on? Uh, essentially, uh, we have uh, obviously the Ukraine has been a strain on the ammo market since that started. If you guys follow me on any of my social media platforms, you guys will know that the ammo prices were dramatically affected by the breakout of the uh, Ukraine conflict and the Russia invasion. Um, additionally, obviously, we, in recent months, we have the Israeli conflict that's going on, and uh, that timed up pretty closely to when these news reports started coming out about the uh, ammunition plant ceasing sales to the civilian market. Additionally, on Friday, I believe, uh, of this past week, as of when I'm recording anyway, there was an explosion at the Hornady ammunition plant. That one we absolutely can confirm. Unfortunately, one woman lost her life. Now, I'm not sure how much that impacts the market in terms of volume. I don't know the extent of the damage, but just know that that did happen uh, at a similar time frame to what we're talking about here. Um, another thing to think about that is a factor in this is that the Army is currently, the Army specifically in this case, and to a lesser extent the other services, is switching out from uh, 556. So uh, they're switching to the 6-8 round. Uh, obviously that is not complete in any way, but it is something that is going to happen. And I bring that up to say that um, right now at Lake City, they don't produce 30-06, for example, right? Because while the Army used to use 30-06, they don't anymore. So I say that to say that at some point there is going to be a transition away from 556 at that plant to some extent. Of course, it will probably be gradual but did it already start? We don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. And the reason I've avoided talking about this is that I have not been able to get a primary source uh, for this information. Now, one thing I can tell you is that I am an FFL. So if I look at the distributors' websites, which I have access to uh, for the past four days, five days now, they have been empty of Winchester 556. It is gone. Uh, it's not there, and normally it is there, and it's just not. So that is what we call an indicator. Now, could that be just because so many people with the uh, day of the word I can't say on YouTube last week ordered a bunch of ammo? Possible. Uh, and I would also say that in the past, the Biden administration twice that I'm aware of that is confirmed has tried to do this very same thing. Uh, they tried to do it last year, uh, and their impetus for doing so publicly was the uh, Russia Ukraine situation going on. Now, when that was reported, it was reported by many different sites. I believe the NRA was probably the first like media organization to initially report it. And the same kind of thing happened where there was no uh, information given, uh, no primary source document. But in that instance, uh, one, an email came out later on uh, to the general who runs the actual plant and confirmed that that absolutely did happen. And the Biden administration did tell them to cease those sales. Um, but of course, in that instance, it was for a very brief time. In this instance, we don't know how long it's going to be. One thing, again, I will tell you though that we do know at this point is that ammunition, uh, 556 ammunition, from the time that uh, the incident in Israel happened, uh, at the time, well, I can't say the prices on here, I don't think, I don't think I'm allowed to, but essentially it has gone up anywhere from five to eight cents a round for the cheapest stuff that you guys can find. Uh, so that spike was immediate and it was very evident as somebody who follows the market extremely uh, carefully. So. I think that's pretty much it. That is what I know. I do not have a primary source document. I have talked to employees at the Lake City plant. Uh, have not been able to corroborate this. I 
at the same time, like I just said, the Biden administration does have a history of doing this that have been verified at least twice. So it's absolutely not impossible. Um, but again, I don't know. And if you guys want to see updates on that, make sure you guys are following me on all my various social media sites because I'm not going to do another video. If there is a primary source document or documents that comes out, I will share it across there. Additionally, probably more importantly for a lot of you, I do post ammo deals at my social media sites, all the non Zuckerberg ones. Um, so you guys can head over there, post up the cheapest stuff that I know around the internet. And we also post those in our daily deals email. You can sign up for that at the link here in your uh, screen. This email goes out every day contains deals on ammo, guns, optics, accessories, whatever the case may be, magazines. If it is in that email, it's the cheapest I know of for that specific product anywhere on the internet on that day because I've already done all the price comparisons for you. So that way, hopefully it saves you some time and saves you some money. Additionally, if you guys like this video and you're not subscribed here, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button to rectify that. Also hit the notification bell. If you've done both of those and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, trust me, I am making them. Uh, you are being censored by an algorithm. So you can avoid that by signing up for the email at the website here on your screen. It goes out once a month, so not spammy at all. And it just contains the uh, emails from excuse me, the videos that have gone up since the previous month's email. So that way you guys have a direct feed to my content because even if I'm suspended again here on YouTube, uh, we'll be putting it elsewhere and it will be in that email. So that way you guys, again, have access to my content. That's pretty much it. A lot of you guys have asked about this shirt as well. If you guys aren't on a government watch list, probably not doing something right. Link is down below in the video description. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.